We can continue with the physical properties of building products. The physical properties of products include properties which are quantifiable and observable traits that can be measured without changing the composition of the material. Some of these properties are structural properties, properties related to heat, sound, water and humidity. The physical state of building products can be solid in which particles are strong so that they cannot move freely but only vibrate. A solid has a stable, definite shape and volume. In liquid building products, particles have enough energy to move relative to each other. The structure is mobile, one, which means the shape of a liquid is not definite but it is determined by its container. Gas state substances, particles have enough kinetic energy. The typical distance between neighboring molecules is much greater than molecular size. A gas has no definite shape or volume, but occupies the entire container. The structure uh, of building products can be homogeneous, uh, which is the materials formed by the same substances, or heterogeneous materials which are formed by different substances. Isotropic materials uh, show identical properties in different directions. Anizo uh, anisotropic materials show different properties in different directions. The internal structure of building products can be molecular. Molecules are made up by chemically bonding two or more atoms of the same or different elements by covalent bonds. Or it, this microstructure can be crystalline. Uh, Atoms arranged in a highly ordered three-dimensional structure forming a crystal lattice that extends in all directions. Composite microstructures show properties of both molecular and crystalline microstructures. The compactness of building uh, products uh, are related uh, if they are porous or non-porous materials. In porous materials uh, there are pores, voids, and they can absorb water. Non-porous materials, they don't have pores, so they cannot absorb water. Related to this, we have density. The density is the mass of a unit volume of materials. We have unit weight. It's the weight per unit volume of material. Compactness ratio is the measure of solid spaces in a material, and it's a fraction of volume of solids over the total volume. The opposite of this, the porosity, is the measure of void spaces in a material and is the fracture of volume of voids over the total volume. Properties related to heat, first let's look at the heat energy. The amount of heat energy determines the behavior of atoms and temperature. Due to physical properties of material, changes in the temperature may cause this material to conduct heat energy and or change its shape. Generally materials with low density, which means porous materials, they are resistant to heat transfer. Thermal transmittance or U-value is the rate of transfer of heat through one square meter of a material divided by the uh, difference in temperatures across the material, which is expressed in watts per square meter Kelvin. The better insulated the material is, the lower U value will be. Thermal conductivity is the ability of a material to conduct heat. Consequently, a higher thermal conductivity means that heat transfer across a material will, will occur at a higher rate. The volumetric enlargement, expansion or reduction, in other words, con contraction, may cause cracks or breaks due to thermal stress and possible weakening and deformation. Properties related to sound. Let's start with sound. Sound is a vibration that propagates as a typically audible mechanical wave of pressure and displacement through a transmission medium, mostly the air. When a sound wave encounters a solid uh, building product, Depending on the properties of the product and its surface, some of the energy is reflected, some is absorbed, and some will be transferred to the other side. 
Sound transmission loss is the accumulated decrease in intensity of sound energy as a wave propagates outwards from a source or as it propagates through a certain building product. Sound transmission loss, loss of a product is related to its weight, density, homogeneity, thickness, microstructure, etc. Sound absorption is the process by which a product takes in sound energy when sound waves are encountered. Sound reflection uh, when an acoustic traveling wave encounters a surface of the building product Depending on its properties, it can be reflected back. The portion of the wave undergoes reflection is dependent upon the dis dissimilarity between the media sound is traveling, like the air, and the media sound encountered, like the building product. Properties related to water and humidity According to the physical properties of a product, such as microstructure, density, and porosity, the relationship of the product with water in its liquid and gas stages changes. Generally, low-density porous materials absorb water and humidity, which may cause a change in their properties. Water absorption capacity by weight is the difference between water locked weight of a product and its dry weight over its dry weight. The degree of saturation is the ratio of liquid to the volume, total volume of voids in a porous material. This value shows how much of the total void of material can absorb water. The degree of saturation mainly depends on the properties of the pores. If the material has closed pores, it may not absorb water, but it, if it has open pores, uh, the degree of saturation will increase. The water in the voids freezes if the temperature is under 0 Celsius degrees. When the water freezes, the volume of water expands by 10%. If the material is fully saturated, the pressure of ice may cause deformations. The strength of material against frost depends on its degree of saturation. Capillarity is the ability of a material absorbing water molecules from the surrounding environment without the assistance of or even in the opposite to external forces like gravity. It occurs because of intermolecular forces between the liquid and surrounding solid surfaces. A combination of surface tension and adhesive forces between the liquid and the solid. Diffusion resistance is a factor showing the vapor permeability of a material, indicating how many times it will be more difficult to pass the water vapor through the material than through the air. Swelling occurs when the open porous materials absorb water and the volume of the materials increase. Shrinkage is the opposite of this. The decrease in the volume of material due to loss bound water.